Hey guys, check this out. It's a log. It's going to be for a frog on a log. And I'm going to be showing you in this video what I did to do this. It's mixed colors. I don't get I don't have to paint this or anything. Totally awesome. And I'm using this one as a guide for this tutorial cuz it's my first one. Seriously, this is probably the coolest log I've ever made. I'm uh I'm using a paint bottle to get my circle I want and just twisting some wire around it. Pretty much make the shape of the whatever kind of log you want. And I take a piece of aluminum foil, fold it in half, and then roll it up into a tube. Squeeze it really, really tight. And then I wrap it in tape to protect the clay and make it stick better. I'm using terracotta clay. Um, it's a it's uh, it's Sculpey original. I got a whole two pound box of it, but it was like really really dry, so I had to do a lot of conditioning. And I'm basically doing two ply for the for the base for it to sit on. And you squish the wire down onto it, and do um, another full thickness slab on top of that. Number two to go around the trunk. You want the um, the part up at top to weigh as less as possible and the base to weigh the most so it, it's not top heavy. The details that I put on the bottom are basically to make it look more like a branch and it's going to weigh it down for me. That clay was ridiculous trying to um, condition. For this um, skin that I'm going to put around it, basically I took brown and a uh, uh, super sculpey and t two long strips of it and kept folding it and pulling, pulling it like a uh, taffy, folding it and pulling it, and it made the grains long and all I'm doing here is kind of just getting the shape to look kind of like the final shape I want before I wrap it in this color that I mixed. I also added other colors to kind of give it some highlights and some darks and some greens and stuff. Just fold it and like pull it and then fold it and pull it then run it through the pasta machine and it was just wood grain it looks so cool looks really cool I think it was like number two thickness that way you have something to work with and you don't accidentally tear through it you know trying to do your details doing a little guesswork on how I should get the grains to go but I'm really happy how it turned out. It looks really cool. <clears throat> I tried to match up at the top uh, the best I could uh, the grains and just drug the clay from the top new piece down to the bottom and it blended perfect. Filled it in with black and then slid it up at the top. Looks like a branch. I don't have to paint this. I'm so happy. I'm going to start investing in more colors and I want to try Kato polymer clay because this is so much fun and it's worth it to me if I could skip a step and do incredible sculptures without having to paint. I'm all for it. I really appreciate y'all watching this video. Um, just keep doing your thing. Y'all are all awesome. And I'm very honored to be able to make these videos for you. Thank you for watching.